Hey there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. I'm your host Patson and today we're gonna be taking a look at r slash divorce where OP is so surprised that his wife suddenly wants a divorce. Huh, I wonder why. Let's find out. I deserve better. Posted by Reddit user Chaotic Little Gemini. That's what she told me last night. After 11 years she's throwing it all away. I gave her everything I could give. She has never worked. She was in charge of household stuff like taking care of bills. I would help clean. I loved caring for our children, and I loved being a husband. I wouldn't bug her about sex, nor did I stay mad for very long at her. I hardly ever told her no, and generally tried to do everything I could to make her happy. What did I get out of it? I got drained bank accounts and a broken heart. I didn't even go out with the guys in order to try and make her happy. I completely lost who I am in an attempt to make her happy. I don't even know where to start. I put everything I had into this relationship, and it's all up in smoke. Like good luck finding better when you do absolutely zero to add to a relationship and instead wreck it with the negative attitudes and how everything will always just go wrong mince it. I'm sorry for the post, just lost and need to vent. We got two daughters ages 13 and 9, and I even adopted one of them from a previous relationship she had. I care for both our children equally and try my best to be a great father. Like WTF did I do so wrong? I even forgave her after she threw a shot glass at me. And cracked me in the head with it. I didn't press charges, even though the cops wanted me to. Like WTF was so wrong with me? Sure, I'm not the greatest looking dude, and sure I'm not rich. But I'm retired from the military, and I work my ass off to provide. I still do household chores when I'm off, and I don't complain. Like I can't figure out what's wrong with me, that my wife just suddenly decided she deserves better and is ending our marriage after 11 years. Edit 1. Thank you everyone for the advice, and yeah, I'll admit I was too nice and completely lost myself, I was just trying to be a good husband and I thought that's what was required. Our dynamic was very chill and we had an amazing time together. These last few years have been hard, but hey, they've been hard for everyone. But literally we were just wrestling and laughing and then boom. I want a divorce because I am not in love no more and I deserve better. Like completely out of left field. We've gone to counseling and I thought things were getting better and nope, completely off. So, I've at least been able to move out of bedroom and set up space in a new bedroom. I just don't have the funds at the moment to get a place on my own. This is gonna be one hell of a process as she has control over everything, went through an extremely bad time when I was getting medically retired, so it was necessary for her to take over like she did. Right now, I'm demanding that she gets a job and shares the bills till our house sell closes and we can cancel our debt and move in. We are both in agreement that everything should be as smooth as possible for the children's sake at least, and it's not fair for them if either parent is hurting financially because the other one wanted to get one over. Again, thank you all for the advice. I'm heartbroken, but I know I'll heal, eventually. Edit 2. Talked from 10.30 to 2.30 am unloaded my heart out to her and told her how I feel. She had told me a little bit earlier, but still less than 24 hours after she said she wanted a divorce, that she had already mourned the marriage and that I'll get over it. The fuck? You've already mourned it? I'm just starting, there's no way. When she gave her reasons, they were pathetic. She brought up the fact that she's bitter because I told her no from eight years ago about going to a concert because we couldn't afford it, a okay, I don't keep promises, even though we couldn't afford it and she knew it. She just refuses to let things go from slights that she has perceived against her and instead tries to emotionally manipulate me. In the end, what I'm getting out of this is I poured my love into a fucking strainer and no matter what I would do it wouldn't be good enough. <laughs> Honestly OP. You wanna know the real reason why she suddenly, out of the blue, wants a divorce and she thinks she deserves better? It's simple, dude. She found a new sucker to pay for her bills. I bet that she's been having an affair while you are ignorantly treating her like a queen and paying for everything. I guess her affair partner is promising her a better life than what you can provide. And she has you hooked for child support. It's a win-win situation for her. The only thing that you did wrong here was to try to make someone who couldn't be happy, happy. There's nothing wrong with you, dude. This is a fundamental flaw in her. It has nothing to do with you. I know right now it feels like the worst thing that could happen. And in many ways, 
This is gonna be one of the hardest things you will ever have to deal with. But I promise you, it does get better. And there will be a time where you just don't care about her. You won't hate her. And you won't love her. You will be indifferent. That is when you know that you have truly moved on. Now, for today's second story. She told me things won't change, so I stood up for myself. Posted by a deleted Reddit user. I'll keep it short, but just looking for support. Wife and I are in our 30s. Two small kids, 6 and 3. After years and years of communicating this, she told me that intimacy, sexual health, is at the bottom of her list. That she wants freedom and then wants to come home to me at night. She never crossed a boundary, but she just never seems happy. We've turned into people that I don't like. She gave me absolutes. I was always a pushover, would let her erratic mood changes influence my behavior. Always felt like I was walking on eggshells. So after asking for a separation, we both agreed to it. We both said it was necessary. Then she asked if there is any hope, I said no. She's had a poor reaction and thought there was hope. How? You told me that things won't change, and I honestly barely ever felt like a priority to you. You told me that sexual health isn't important to you, you want freedom, and this beautiful life we've achieved, insane what I've done for her, isn't really what you want. Everyone around us has always asked me why you always seem checked out, not happy, or even why you critique me for dumb stuff. At least it seemed like she wasn't happy. Resentment is built up on both sides. I had to stick up for myself finally, I had to. I just felt like I was always feeding a bottomless pit. I know this is the right decision. We are two very different people. We would always use new projects or life decisions to distract ourselves from our issues. I'd wake up every day asking what wife I'd get. We have made mistakes, but I was always the first one to apologize, improve, and accept responsibility. She always took the route that this is who I am. I always took the route, how can I compromise or improve, I feel so small. I feel I have in too much. So two weeks from now, I'll be in my new place learning how to coprant, as will she. I hope her, and I can become friends. She's shut down bad, and doesn't want a divorce. But you told me, the things I have asked for improvement won't change, and that I have to accept that. Our daughter now sees it? I hate who I am. The constant me trying to convince that intimacy is important, or always trying to get validation, but never getting it. I'm a people pleaser, and I felt all I did was constantly try and make her happy. So what was I supposed to do? Repeat our cycle of fighting that we hate so much? Isn't there a point where enough is enough? Will I be judged as a man for this by others? Should I care? I feel like I'm trapped and I had to do this. I felt my mind slipping. Trying to constantly convince or change myself. I took selective serotonin and reuptake inhibitors to kill my libido so I wouldn't desire her as much. What have I become? Does it get better? House sells in 10 days. Everything has been split 50 50ths. Signed and notarized, pre settlement divorce. So, what was I supposed to do? Repeat our cycle of fighting that we hate so much? So, I go to therapy on Thursday. I'm in great shape and will continue to hit the gym. Have people around me. She seems so lost and sad, but I can't give in anymore. All she has done was blame me. OP, I am so happy that you finally found your spine and now. You're using it as a weapon to finally get the freedom and happiness that you truly deserve. That's truly amazing. We're so proud of you, man. I mean, walking on eggshells, constant criticism, random blow-ups, those are all signs of emotional abuse. In the short term, yeah, admitting that you're a victim of emotional abuse will fuck with your head. But in the long term, understanding this will set you free and allows you to truly find your strength. And it starts by standing up for yourself. And that's exactly what you did. Look, for what it's worth, the issue is not that you two are completely different people. The issue is that your wife is too selfish to make a partnership work, and she's unwilling to work on herself, let alone compromise. And let's not forget, she's abusive. No matter how hard you try, you will never be able to make things work with that woman. Good luck, OP. And now for today's final story. Look at all those sluts. Posted by Reddit user Dorothy Rules. One random Sunday, my soon-to-be ex-husband walked by the TV. I had the news on. Women were shown protesting 
against the impending ruling to overturn Roe v. Wade. He laughed and said, look at all those sluts. That was my moment of clarity. We have a 14-year-old daughter and 16-year-old son. He's got no empathy unless he's been in the exact situation. I stared at him and said something about women being in difficult situations. He exploded berating me and lecturing me on abortion. I suddenly realized I had stayed way too long, walked on eggshells far too much, and could no longer keep the real me locked up inside. As soon as I quit managing his emotions, all hell broke loose. I told him I wanted to break up. He was blindsided and furious. I feel badly about doing this so abruptly. He screamed at me, started arguments, blocked me from leaving rooms or the house to try and force me to engage. He even called my brother and my therapist and tried to convince them I am a terrible person and to stop supporting me. He stalked and harassed a couple we were friends with because they were choosing me. They no longer speak to me for fear of him tormenting them. He turned his entire family against me. I am not close with my family. His family has been my only family for the last 17 years. And so, I am almost completely alone. I have my children with whom I am very close, and my brother who is 3,000 miles away, I am very close with him as well. And yet I am convinced I made the right decision. The last few months have been hell on earth for me. I was hoping I would feel relieved not having to cater to him anymore. Dinner on the table, taking care of the children, working full time, all laundry, cleaning, bills, school duties, etc. He mowed the lawn and worked a physical job, so he was always too tired to help after work. I don't feel relieved, I feel worse. But I'm hopeful that someday I will feel better. Look OP, at first remembering clearly all the pain does somewhat make it hurt worse because you've spent so long in denial. You've spent so long excusing his shitty behavior and taking to heart every hurtful thing he said to you. You have to finally acknowledge just how abusive your husband has been and all the ways in which you abandoned yourself in order to not be rejected by him. But in time, as you are processing things, remembering clearly validates you and gives you strength because remembering truly how abusive it was lets you know you're doing the right thing by leaving. You looking back, on all of the hurtful things he said and realize what those things says about him, not you. You, remembering all the good things you did and how hard you tried, and instead of feeling pathetic for doing it, you should realize that you are a good person who was just doing your best. Writing out what you feel today is good for you, even and especially if when it's this bad. Because when you feel lonely or he's trying to manipulate you, you can go back and read this post and really remember, as well as see the comments that is reassuring you that you are doing the right thing. Your own words on this post won't allow you to romance those memories anymore. And as things get better, reading these old words of yours will show you how far you've come. I truly hope you the best, OP. Good luck. And be careful with your abusive and stalker husband. Stay safe. Viewer support is the best way for me to remain independent and continue bringing you these daily videos, which will always be here on my YouTube channel for you to watch absolutely free. So consider clicking that super thanks just below the video title or you can use my PayPal in the description box down below. Thanks for listening everyone. If you even somewhat enjoyed today's story, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and if you really like it, make sure to subscribe to Patson to never miss a future upload. Stay strong.